This is First Contact, Stories of the Call Center. What do you see when you're talking about memory and seeing all these memorable moments? Customers have memories. It's really important in those interactions. Let's go back to the call center site and that example I gave you of those experiences. Where are those parts of the memories, good, bad, and how do you make those better in those moments? You're now going to start me off on my favorite topic, okay? Um, So I'm going to have to try to condense the answer a bit. Um, but because this is probably the biggest thing I've learned in the last 10 years. Okay. And I really think it's really fundamental to how businesses need to operate going forward. So let me give you a little bit of background. I'm I'm not going to spend too long, but I'll give you a bit of background and I'll explain uh, sort of the implications of it. Um, so the first thing is that If you think about customer loyalty, loyalty is a function of memory. I can't be loyal to something that I haven't remembered, okay? Because if we didn't remember anything, every experience we ever had would be new and we wouldn't know where to go back to and all the rest of it. So loyalty is a function of memory. There's a guy called Professor Daniel Kahneman who's won the Nobel Prize for Behavioral Economics. And one of the things he talks about is because, you know, a key question becomes, well, how are memories formed? Okay. Mm -hmm. And memories are formed. Kahneman talks about the fact that memories are formed by what's called the peak end rule. Okay. So the peak end rule basically says that in an experience, what we remember is we remember the peak emotion that we felt and we remember the end emotion that we felt. So we remember the peak emotion and we remember the end emotion. So now let's try to apply some of this to the contact center. So in the contact center, where is in in an experience that you're having in that contact center, where's the peak emotion that the customer is feeling in that conversation that they are having with you? And not only where is it, what emotion are they feeling? Okay, Mm -hmm. and the same applies at the end. What's the emotion that the customer is feeling, and um, what emotion do you you know do you want them to feel? And what you should be trying to get them to feel is an emotion that drives value. So value is, in other words, you get something: an improvement, a net promoter, increased retention, increased renewals, whatever it may be. Okay, so. To form that positive memory, you have to think about that peak end rule. Now, that forms the memory. Is this making sense so far? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I can think about my last interaction. (laughs) I had a moment that it was memorable, emotional, and then the end, how it resulted. (laughs) Yes, I'm I'm, I'm sure. Um, But now think about, so let me progress on to the the next level uh, of understanding with this stuff. So now let's assume that you, uh, you have, your organization has sent out a notice to a customer saying that their prices are going to increase, mm-hmm. that um, the customer is phoned into the contact center four times and it hasn't got through because the wait time was too long, um, that um, you'd seen that they'd written something on social media Okay, Mm -hmm. so all of those points are memories that the customer has built up and they're building up, in that case, a level of frustration. Okay, what ideally what you want to do is now when the when the contact center person's picking up the phone to that customer at the moment, they're totally blind. They haven't got a clue what's happened prior to that. And they're just potentially faced with an irate customer. It's too bad they don't have visibility though. Yeah, oh, no, <laughs> tell me about it, yeah. So would, wouldn't it be great if you could turn around and, and flashing on the screen before the, the, the agent took the call that it said this customer is likely to be frustrated and they know that it's frustrated because this has happened, that's happened, that's happened. So you've got some AI at the back end that's collated all these things you know, and, and taken some memories of what have has happened two years ago, three years ago with that customer, 
but it's now effectively turning around and saying to the agent, look, this is what this customer is likely to be feeling. And maybe even here's how we, you know, here's an experience that you could give them to, 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 to convert them into the, the experience that the organization wants. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, so I know this is a bit, a little bit futuristic, but for me, you have to start off with that basic of going, we form memories with customers all the time. Okay. The question is, is are they good or are they bad? The question is, is, you know, where's that peak and where's that, where's that end? Just think about the other thing, last thing, and then I'm going to shut up. Um, the last thing about memories uh, is that, you know, I'm sure that you have got Christian f- memories of, you know, your, your youth or your, you know, when you meet up with your friends and you all stop bantering about what you did and everything else. And this one instant has blown into something that's, you know, everybody laughs and jokes about now. Okay? Yeah, yeah. But if you went back to that one instant, it probably wasn't as funny as or whatever. It's just that it's, you know, become an in-joke, okay? Well, the point I'm trying to make is this. Every time you think back to a memory and you open that memory up, you're effectively, when you save that memory again, it's effectively altered, okay? So it's a bit like um, memories are like sort of have email attachments of emotions with them, but it's effectively altered and saved and, and can change. Okay. So this is a phrase that Kahneman uses, which I think is incredibly powerful. We don't choose between experiences. We choose between the memory of an experience. Mm -hmm. And, and that is a little nuanced. Okay. But I think it's really important to, to actually say, you know what? The memory of an experience is more important than the experience itself. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And the, and the, the, the danger is, last, last thing, I, I told you I was going to rattle on about this. Uh, no, the, keep going. <laughs> the, 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 the last thing is just think about customer complaints. Okay. How many times does the customer have to repeat the same story of what happened and why it went wrong to different people in the organization. Every time that they repeat it, they're saving it. You know, I'm, I'm now telling you this is what happened that I'm now telling you. And that memory is getting worse. Okay. You know, because they're having to keep repeating the, the, the same thing and the frustration levels building, building up. So thinking about, what does your customer remember and going forward the great thing i think that's going to happen and where it's going to have a massive change of in technology um in in the contact center space uh, as just one part of it is Mm -hmm. the deployment of ai and uh, that being able to be used to be able to predict what customers are, are are doing 